October 1962, President John F. Kennedy, already burdened with the threat of communism in Southeast Asia, is stunned when NASA cryptophysicists report a massive organic object on the edge of our solar system, drawn towards Earth by mysterious beacons. U-2 spy flights reveal the source of the threat. Unholy temples located in Fidel Castro's Cuba. Just what was Castro's game? On honeymoon in Paris, CIA director John McCone learns the horrifying truth. According to French intelligence, Cuba's dictator was in league with none other than Alistair, the Beast Crowley. An unholy alliance, all in the name of vengeance against Castro's sworn enemies, the freedom-loving people of the United States of America. Explained as a missile crisis in the public press, it was the decisiveness of Kennedy and his administration that put an end to the diabolical scheme. A four-alarm carpet bombing sent Crowley into hiding and his minions to the grave. With the dark altars destroyed, the otherworldly monstrosity lost interest, and the leaders of the free world breathed a collective sigh of relief. Crowley and Castro wouldn't collaborate again until 1968, when Fidel commissioned the construction of the now infamous Meccano Castro. <laughs> this has been Revisions of the Past.